It has not been often in these summer months where we've seen an actual front make its way through the entire region as effectively as we saw yesterday. And again, we're seeing the effects of that today, more or less. Plenty of clear sky out there, a lot of sunshine. Yes, our temperature is up to 85 degrees, but for once, our dew point readings are well down to into the upper 50s and lower 60s. So it is feeling very comfortable indeed, despite the fact that we are still pretty warm out there. Thanks to that late July sunshine, middle to upper 80s for the most part. Aspen Hill up to 90 degrees at this hour, and we are going to see plenty of lower 90s as we head throughout the rest of the afternoon. But again, the key thing here is that air is a lot drier than it has been of late. Dew points generally in the lower to middle 60s and even winter. Chester 55 degrees with that dew point right now, so just feeling comfortable by late July standards as we continue along through the day today. And again, you can see how that front just cleared everything to our south. There is another boundary developing further north, but we are wedged right in between those two features, and that's why we'll continue to see a mostly sunny sky now for the rest of your Wednesday before things start to turn a little cloudy again starting tomorrow. So yes, a beautiful late July afternoon in store, and then we'll see that boundary to our south bring a low pressure center, a weak one at that, right toward the area that will increase our clouds tomorrow afternoon. And then we can see some isolated showers and storms Thursday night into Friday, and things start to even turn more active over the weekend as we eventually start to see that next boundary set up along the east coast. And things will get very humid again once we get into your Saturday and Sunday as well. So checking it out here the rest of this afternoon. Oh yeah, a lot of sunshine continuing along. Just a few clouds possible as you go along Interstate 81 into southwestern Virginia, but otherwise things remain quiet across the viewing area. Thursday also starts out very clear, but then we do start to bring clouds back. Like I mentioned, Thursday afternoon, it stays dry for the most part during the day, but we start to see some showers and a few storms arriving into northern Virginia as we go into your Thursday nights, and then everyone is a shot at seeing some isolated rainfall Thursday night into your Friday and then on Friday afternoon we'll start to dry back out for a brief time once again. Those temperatures today lower 90s but lower humidity to go along with that so very comfortable for late July standards like I mentioned earlier 60s and 70s another night that's going to feel comfortable as well and we'll have temperatures once again arriving into the 90s tomorrow but the cloud cover should help with that a little bit. We won't be having that sun bear Bearing down on us tomorrow afternoon with those clouds arriving and then we'll be back into the 60s and 70s as we go into your Thursday night and Friday morning. The rest of this afternoon again temperatures warming up a few more degrees under plenty of sunshine back into the lower 90s and we'll stay in the upper 80s all the way through the weekend but that rain chance returns starting late Saturday and it'll continue all the way into early next week.